guys, it's Jordan Byers, and today we are going to be brutally, honestly reviewing Shan XO's new lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. So I got her whole collection of just plain old lipsticks, matte lipsticks. So if you have been here for a while, you know that I am moving out of the liquid lipstick trend and moving back into the normal compact lipsticks because just to me, I just feel like they feel better on my lips. Some brands like Jeffree Star and Gerard Cosmetics and the cream lipsticks from Kylie, I still use like those liquid lipsticks. The formulas are fantastic, but just personally, I prefer to wear normal lipsticks on the daily basis. So I was really excited when I saw that she launched these. So if you guys know me well and you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know that I am currently working on Joby Beauty myself. So when I saw that Shan had these new line of lipsticks, I was on board and ready to support because whenever a YouTuber or influencer is, you know, spending a lot of money on bulk in their products and stuff, it's a real, real big risk. So I definitely was behind her, like from another person who was trying to make it in the beauty industry. I was just like, you can do it, you can do it, girl. So I got all of this stuff. The only problem for me was that shipping was a buttload because it is coming from New Zealand to America to the little state of Ohio. So the shipping was a buttload, but you know what? I've got the products now. I've got my lipsticks I'm ready to try and I'm super excited. So let's just get straight into it. So right off the bat, the packaging for these lipsticks is super cute. It's polka dot and the inside of the carton is pink. I love it, super cute, super professional. So this is what the compact looks like. It's just a normal silver all the way around compact. And then it has the EXO Beauty symbol on the top and then the shade name on the bottom. Pretty typical. So the one thing that I did notice about these lipsticks is that there's not a whole lot of product in them. Um, like usually they're a little bit longer than this. Let me just show you an example. So if you can see the MAC one is a little bit longer than the Shan one, but not too, too much different. So it's not a big concern because how often do you really use up an entire lipstick like how often because I certainly have only gone through one lipstick in my entire life and I can't even remember because it was so long ago but yeah I have I, I have a lipstick obsession so the first one I'm gonna try on is this one and it's called Ubuntu I don't know what that means <sighs> so after putting this on it kind of is not what I was expecting I was kind of expecting like a thicker more pigmented consistency, but it's kind of just like a really sheer, kind of glossy. It's not really that matte to me personally, uh, but it's like a sheer moisturizing type feeling. It's not, it doesn't feel matte to me. It doesn't really look matte. I'm looking in the viewfinder for one second. I'm sorry if that bothers you, but as you can see, I don't know if the shine is showing, but it's not, it's definitely not matte. So now let's get on to the next one, which is Philocaly. Philocaly. These are some weird names. It's definitely more of that traditional thick lipstick type feeling, like not uncomfortable, but more like feels like it could last a bit longer. It's not sheer or like kind of a. Uh, it's not as glossy or sheer as the first one. This is more of your traditional formula of lipstick. Let me just give you a little side-by-side -side swatch of the first one. And this one is definitely more matte than the first one. As you can see, the first one has that shine to it and this one does not. <coughs> Sorry. I'm definitely digging this color. It looks like my natural lips, but better type shade. And I'm really, really, really impressed with this. This is definitely going to become one of my new favorites. So now let's try on Meraki. Meraki. What does, what does this mean? 
So as you can see, the coverage is really nice, but it's not like full coverage matte. It is more of a sheer topping, but it's still pigmented and like in your face like color. Like I definitely, definitely, definitely am digging this for summer. But as you can see, like compared to this, the last one, it does have that slight shine to it, just like the first one that we tried. So now onto the next one. This one is called Limerence. Ugh! Ugh, you guys, this color is stunning. Obviously, this is not not a cute swatch, but this formula of this shade is definitely matte like this one right here. So, so far, is this a thing? Oh, you guys, I'm so dumb. Some of them are matte and some of them are cream. I'm absolutely ridiculous. Not all of these are the same type of... Did I, why did I not know that? I thought they were all matte. No, so obviously... You guys, I'm just absolutely ridiculous. So these ones are the cream ones and these two are the matte ones. And wow, wow, I'm absolutely ridiculous. Everything makes a lot of sense now, but I'm in love with this color, the formula, the pigmentation is on point. Like, do you see a single bit of patchiness in this? No, you don't. No, you don't, you don't, don't. you don't. You just don't. I don't want to see any comments saying, girl, that's patchy, because you're wrong. This is not patchy at all. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed. So now on to the last one, and this is called Wabi, Wabi Sabi, excuse me, and this is a matte one. So surprisingly, this is the only one that's super duper patchy. I think it's quite obvious from this far away, but I'm also just going to show you on my hand. As you can see, it kind of just attaches to the hair on my hand, but it also attaches to like different spots on my lips. I'll just bring you in a tiny, tiny bit, not too close, but as you can see, it's very, 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 very patchy. Um, but this is the only one that I've noticed that is really patchy. The other four are not like this at all. They're super creamy, glide on, super pigmented and everything. This one is just the only one where it's just a no-go for me. So I definitely don't like this last one, Wabi Sabi, but the other four will be permanent staples for my summer this year. And I'm really excited to use them, just not this one. This one's kind of a let down. But now I'm going to try her formula of liquid lipsticks and I have the color Leo Tong and it's just this really pretty peach color. I only got one because I am moving out of the liquid lipstick stage and in to the matte and creamy type lipsticks. So I only got one so hopefully this is a good one. Keep my fingers crossed. Let's just go ahead and try it on. You guys, I tried to finesse this shade so hard, but as you can see, it is a little bit patchy just right after applying. So I think I'm gonna try to like, hat dry this so that maybe the patchiness goes away. Long story short, the color is beautiful, intense, electric. It reminds me of like a traffic cone. So if you ever have this problem where you come across a shade that you're obsessed with, but the pigmentation is not there and the formula is a little bit thin, here is your quick fix. So basically, just find a lip liner that is pretty close to the liquid lipstick shade you have line your lips and then go ahead and line your entire lips, fill them all the way in so none of your natural lip shade is coming through and then go ahead and put on your liquid lipstick so that it kind of just sets that lip liner but it also has the properties of a liquid lipstick that everyone loves where it's non-transfer proof and stays really, really long wearing all day long. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the pigmentation with the lip liner and then you get the long wearing, long lasting, no transfer liquid lipstick on top. So I feel like that's what I'm probably gonna do with this just because the color is so beautiful and the formula is great. I just 
think that it could use a little bit of a lip liner just around the corners and like in the middle but other than that the color is beautiful after I patted it down with my finger the pigmentation did get a lot better I feel like you have to use the brush first it's kind of like a weird brush it's just like a flat one like this so you just apply that how you normally would and then go in with your finger and pat that even all across the lips and that's what seemed to work for me but anyways thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big ol like because it helps me a lot it really does help me a lot despite what other people say and subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the hashtag joby squad i have a bunch of new things new projects jobybeauty.com is coming very soon be sure to follow me on my other social medias my all of them are at jordan e buyers and my snapchat hey it's jordan with two y's and then my joby beauty instagram which is of course at joby beauty lots of new things coming soon stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next video but before i go i have to do my signature mean glasses <laughs> Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, oh no, oops.